So what did you think of Mystery when you met him? Mm. The first time? He was, according to my expectations, but um, some sort nicer. He's a really nice guy. It's very easy to become empathetic with him, to understand him, to understand his uh, language. And it's very easy to have a, a chat with him. He's very uh, open to new people. He has a huge ton of charisma. That I was already expecting it, but the easiness to talk and say, hey, Eric, I just have one question. This is kind of amazing. So yeah, I loved him. I loved everybody. It was a very good experience. That's why I want to meet people again. And what did you think of him watching him in field? <laughs> the most efficient uh, pickup I've ever seen. But it's like, apart from the magic tricks, it's not that he's just doing something so outrageous. No, no, he's just very good at getting. And, and it's, it's nothing, it seems like it's nothing extraordinary from seeing outside, but at the same time, it is. Because he always has the same. The, the, the right words, the right moments, the right timing, the right delivery. And when you see that work, you just see people around him enchanted by it. And, and he's not, uh, he's not like he's dressed up or something. I know he's just being his normal self. His normal self, whether in a very uh, high profile venue, like a very good expensive bar, or also in a restaurant or in the, the, the daylight time, um, is always enchanting. So everybody likes him all the time. This is, is, is amazing. And I, now I met him, I can understand why, because he's a great guy. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. I could put one more. I could put one more, uh, if you want. Yeah, tell me. Okay, I've seen many, many, many things here that <coughs> impressed me. Uh, the back scene in the first day, uh, I recorded it all. But there's one thing that actually got me. That we were just walking on the street, and this random guy comes to talk to Eric and say, "Oh, you're mystery. I'm a fan of yours." I said, "Oh, okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I read all your books. I've been following your material for 11 years." Mm -hmm. I said, "Okay." And thanks to your material, I got a girlfriend who became my wife, and now we have three children thanks to you. Mm. And this is the biggest compliment I've ever heard someone getting. Like, mm. I have three children thanks to you. Mm. Thank you. Mm. So, yeah. yeah this, this is mystery. Yeah. And what did you think of Baxter <laughs> when you met him? Uh, yeah. I, I didn't know exactly what to expect because I never met him before. And I must say, he's well really better looking than I thought. He's a great dancer. He has a huge ton of charisma and I, I just saw him doing something. Uh, I didn't thought it was even possible. And it's like this huge amount of energy. It's like at the point you see him and you see 200 people around him, but he has all the energy. And he distributes this. He put energy here, energy there. It's, it's all about him. He gets it because of an high energetic profile, a lot of movement. Huge, very good dancing, very good, um, and he has this one thing I told him before. He's a huge catchphrase maker. He's a phrase maker. He puts it in like six words that combine are brilliant, and you can quote him. I could make so much quote from Baxter, mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, that's a huge powerful tool because now I'm thinking of Baxter, I'm thinking about his sentence. That's a huge uh, powerful tool when uh, doing game. Mm -hmm. Tell me. So you asked me why I came. Yeah. Um, so why did I come to do this bootcamp? Think about this. Many years ago, there was a, a written book uh, about the thoughts of Jesus that all Christians follow. That's the Bible. Mm. But it was not written by, by Jesus himself and not in his time, but by followers of him. And there are so many versions, so many interpretations. And nowadays when we read the Bible and we what does it mean? Maybe it means one thing, maybe it means the other. And I had huge fights about it. And I had the opportunity to talk to the man himself mm. and ask him, what did you mean by that? So it's like if I could go in the time machine, talk to Jesus and yeah. what do you think? Because I'm your follower. I'm not caring about everybody else, all the copycats, all the... What do you think? And he answered me. Now I know mystery's words. Yeah. All right, perfect, awesome. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's do that. <laughs> do you have a cell phone?